in this session we are going to talk about hashing okay so first we will see what is a hash function okay. a hash function is a function that maps large set of values I would use a different color that maps large set of values to a smaller set of values okay these smaller set of values are called buckets or locations these are my buckets so let's suppose I have a hashing function which is my modulo function okay it is this the modulo operator C language okay so what is a modulo operator let's say it is modulo 100 okay this is my hash function so if I have a value say 1 2 3 5 then hash value of this search key value would be one two three five percent hundred which would be thirty five and same is the case for let's say hash one three three five that would be also thirty five therefore large number of values are being mapped into smaller number of values because we are repeating the values over here both of these are being mapped into 35 right so let's see how do we organize file in a hash file organization or how do we organize records in a hash file organization I'll assume that my hashing function is still modulo 100 so in this case when we have a new record which is to be inserted we will look for the attribute based on which we are doing the hashing let's suppose my attribute is employee ID so I am assuming that I have a new employee whose ID is 143 ok and let's assume that we have a file which has 100 blocks in it ok like this I have say 98 99 100 okay I have a file comprising of 100 blocks okay so when this guy comes and I have to decide where I store this guy's record I would do hash of 143 would give me its hash value which is 143 percent 100 I would get my answer as 43 this is my bucket number so I would store my new record in bucket number 43 so this is the hash file organization records are stored on the basis of the bucket in which their values are mapped by the hashing function ok now let's see I would assume that each bucket is storing 100 records 